This is V Trades, and today I'll be doing a technical analysis breakdown for JD.com. This is a Chinese e commerce company that is like Amazon. Before we begin, please take a second to give the video a like and subscribe for more chart analysis. Also, thank you to those who already subscribed and like my videos, it means a lot. Just a reminder that this video is for entertainment purposes only, it does not constitute any financial advice. We will start out the technical analysis by going over what I see on the daily chart and potential price targets. Then we will wrap it up by looking over the long term pattern on the weekly chart. So let's just go over um, what JD.com did um, early this year. Looks like it made a channel working downwards. It looks like it was this one right here. A lot of touches on the lower side, however, except we couldn't reach the lower side right here and that led to a break outside because the market is symmetrical. If we come up short here, we'll probably um, push out here to um, fill in this length right here because look at how it came short here. It's about the same length how it broke out just a little more. And then we made two legs down to a new low, which is pretty much perfect price action and that leads to the end of the trend. This is the first leg down. This is the second leg down and we pretty much um, met it. We went just a little short, I believe couple points short and then we went sideways so just because we had a downtrend two legs down to low, new low dead doesn't mean we're gonna reverse right away or reverse at all uh, what we could do is just go sideways uh, and then from there we could just continue lower so it looks like that's what we're probably gonna do because it looks like this was these are the highs of the range right here this $80 level and looks like these are the lows this $66 level so it looks like price is undulating back and forth within this two um, targets that I have of the range so it looks like we just had this breakout last month and then we fell back inside the range and then it price went inside of a little smaller range which is known as a congestion so here um, we could continue higher since we had a break outside on the lower side we could get a break outside on the upper side however if this downtrend channel is too strong we probably will not reach there because it looks like this channel potentially is in play because we got a few touches on the lower side right here right here and right here and then about three to four touches on this side so it looks like we're making lower lows um but not lower um lower highs excuse me but not lower lows we're kind of finding support as this 66 level 65 level but we are making lower highs so it looks like this channel is working and also this uh, range lows are working. So we just have to wait and see which one's going to win out. Are we just going to break outside of this channel and then uh, come up to the upper side of the range or even break the upper side of the range? Or are we going to stay within the channel and continue lower to the lower side of the um, channel or right over here? So we just have to wait and see. Most likely we could um, get that break of this range and just continue lower. Um, in the channel, but we can wait and see because two things could happen. You know, we could either just break outside and continue higher up to this $80 level, or we could just stay within within this uh, channel working lower. I'm going to change the color so you guys see what I'm talking about. Let's go to make it yellow. So either this channel is going to be the major pattern where price will respect and continue lower, or this range, this blue colored range, will be the pattern that price will respect and will continue higher. Um, I see us going lower just because all the other Chinese stocks are also going lower and looks like JD.com can pull back um, much lower to f because we just had this rocket up so it looks like it's just taking back all the profits that it made. So that's pretty much everything I see in the daily chart. It looks like uh, once we made that top at the 108 level, price went in a downtrend. We had a break outside and uh, moved to a new low with two legs. So that's pretty much perfect price action. We see this happen numerous times on any chart. And then it looks like we went sideways inside of a range. We just had a break outside on the lower side of the range. And now that could lead to a break outside on the upper side of the range. However, we are making lower highs. So it looks like there's another pattern in play. So we just got to see which one will win out. Most likely, we will probably continue lower just because the uh, prevailing trend was down. So usually price likes to break out uh, with the prevailing trend. Even if we do a counter trend breakout, um, that will just trap in more longs. And then we will either see uh, more downside coming or if we do find support at this level, we could continue higher. But most likely, we are going to probably continue lower. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the weekly chart. And just a side note, I used to own this company back in about 
2018, 2019. And then I didn't know how to read the price chart, so I sold right at the bottom because, you know, I was scared and emotional. So then I learned technical analysis, and now I can make better decisions, you know, instead of selling at the lows. Because look at why would you sell where everyone's buying? Because every time JD came at this $20 level, it looks like we just bounced. So people are buying at this level. And, but I didn't know that. So I sold at the lows, and I missed out on this huge move up. But now I know better um, because I still like this company a lot. You know, it's a very good company. I, I like what they were doing, you know, and um, I knew they were going to take off because e-commerce was pretty much the future, right? Everything's moving to a more digital side. Uh, we're not like in the 50s or 60s anymore where, you know, like our grandparents didn't have stuff like this. So now we're, everything's moving towards the more digital side. So I wanted to be a part of that. So the uptrend that JD was in is pretty much over. So here's the channel up, pretty much a perfect fitting channel right there. A lot of touches on the lower side, a lot of touches on the upper side. And then we had a uh, breakout side because look at even here, you can see that it came up short just a little bit. And then we led to a breakout side here. And then we made uh, one leg up and two legs up. So it's hard to see the legs in here, but uh, we went up and then this red big candle dropped and then we went up again. So that's pretty much two legs. So we went up, the red candle came in and we dropped and then we went up again. So pretty much same thing what we saw over here where we had the channel and two legs down to new low. This is an uptrend with uh, a break outside and two legs up to new high. So that pretty much marks the end of the trend. And also price uh, was way far away from EMA. So it pretty much pushed up one last time and climax and then dropped. And then we pushed right through the EMA because before look at we bounced off the EMA. Now we pushed through it and found resistance on the um, this side. So it looks like we're finding resistance again. So this EMA is holding and we're still in the downtrend. So I see this channel in play on the weekly chart. A little, it's pretty much the same thing on the daily chart. So it looks like we could fall to the lower side of the channel, which would be right over here. If we uh, if we don't uh, if we don't find support at this sixty eight dollar level, this is where we'll probably end up going to the lower side of the channel. And it looks like price could make a trap right now because if you just look a little closer price went up two times so right around this uh, june 20 june 28th weekly candle price went up once and then tried to go up twice so if price does something twice and it fails it's most likely going to do the opposite so it looks like it went up came back down and went up again so if it goes down now again and it will probably stop out the long so it looks like it went down and then up and then down so try to go up twice already so if we, we continue lower right around here it's probably going to be a trap for the long so you could stop out this candle right here and drop much lower but this is an aggressive trade because we have two patterns in play we have the support uh, however we are making lower high so we just have to wait and see but an aggressive trader would probably go short anyway so let's look at some targets so there's a target that I see JD reaching which would be this one right here this is the first leg down and then we made two legs up which marks the center of the pattern and if I draw drag it if I drag the measured move um, to the top of that correction, that could tell me where price is most likely headed. And it looks like it's heading to the $40 level. And that's pretty low. Uh, I don't know if you'll get that far, but that's what the price is telling me. But I see it reaching this breakout level right here, uh, more like this $50 level because price broke outside of this um, pretty much triple top and then just took off we did try to pull back a little bit I think it might have tested it either way price looks like it come, could come back to test it again so these are my two targets the $50 level and if we don't find support there we could reach the $40 level and that's if we're continuing lower um, the bias is down but anything can happen we could just find a lot of support at this level and price the shorts will just give up and then just continue higher but that's what I see happening right now until anything changes uh, my bias is still um, with the shorts. The shorts are in control of the market. So that's pretty much everything I see uh, for JD.com. It looks like we were in that downtrend and it played out so we went sideways and if we go sideways that could be an indicator of, of just a pause for the shorts where they could just be taking a break and that means more uh, downside could be coming but we just have to wait and see or we could find support right now and not break this level and then continue higher but most likely we are probably going to continue lower and if we do continue lower these are the targets this 40 50 dollar level and even this 40 dollar level and that would be the second leg because uh price moves in two and you guys would be thinking hey you know 40 dollars is pretty low from where we were but you'd be surprised on how accurate these measure moves are i'm just going to go ahead and show you guys 
uh, US oil, how it made a measured move down and you guys would be like crazy. Like um, you could see how it pretty much, pretty much marked the zero dollar level. So look at this. So this is the first leg down right here. This is for US oil right there. And then we had a correction up and then we started trending lower. And look at that. It's pretty much a perfect measured move right to the $2.59 level. You could even drag this to make it even more perfect right at the top. So who would have thought that oil would be at the negative mark, but this measure move showed us it could reach that level and we, it did for the first time in history. So here's the monthly chart just for fun. Um, looks like we just went straight up and looks like we're pretty much going straight down, right back down to where we started for this move up. Thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. Make sure to check out the rest of the channel since you might be surprised on what you can learn. Leave a comment down below on where you think prices are headed. Also share the video if you want your friends to learn about the markets. Lastly, I appreciate any feedback to help improve the channel since I want to deliver great content to you guys. See you next time and bye.